Plastic is one of the most versatile materials in the world. Its use has been widely adopted for everyday use. There are a vast number of applications for plastic, for everything from toys, to food containers, to car parts. There's undeniably many use cases for plastic. The problem with this is that the plastic produced today are synthetic derived from petrochemicals, commonly petroleum. This is a finite, raw material, which industries are extracting at alarming rates. Producing this at mass scale creates both health risks to all living creatures, as well as irreversible damage and pollution for Earth. But that's the reality we're living in. As of 2018, 335 million tons of plastic are produced globally each year, and 45% of all plastic are produced in the United States. 29% of plastic produced in the U.S. are using for packaging. The packaging market in the United States alone is worth $100 billion, a quarter of the global market. This huge market creates powerful players who influence in the game to their favor. One shocking stat found that in the Los Angeles area alone, 10 metric tons of plastic fragments like grocery bags, straws, and soda bottles are carried into the Pacific Ocean every day. In addition to how this impacts marine life, another study found that nearly 1 million seabirds and 100,000 marine mammals are killed annually from plastic in our oceans. Billions of pounds of plastic can be found in swirling convergences in the oceans, making up about 40% of the world's ocean surfaces. 80% of pollution enters the ocean from the land. This inevitably spreads to other living creatures being contaminated, including humans. Classic chemicals can be absorbed by the body. One study found that 93% of Americans aged 6 or older test positive for BPA, which is a plastic chemical. It takes roughly 500 to 1,000 years for the plastics we produce today to degrade. This will have horrifying consequences, consequences that we are starting to see emerge throughout the world. Matter of fact, there is a garbage patch in the Pacific twice the size of Texas. One can only guess how much of that is plastic. Of the 8.3 billion metric tons that has been produced, 6.3 billion metric tons has become plastic waste. Of that, only 9% has been recycled. The vast majority, 79%, is accumulating in landfills or slowing off in the natural environment as a later. What the U.S. did was ship 4,000 recyclable containers to China each day up until last year. When China imposed a ban on imports of plastic, they have imported about 45% of the world's plastic waste since 1992 for recycling. And it wasn't just the U.S. Some 70% of the world's plastic waste went to China, about 7 million tons a year. They had enough. Our solution is Milagro Hemp Plastic. Why Milagro Hemp Plastic? Milagro Hemp Plastic is an affordable bio-based natural fiber composite to replace oil-based raw materials. The basic building block of plastics is cellulose, taken from petroleum. But toxic petrochemical compositions are not the only way to derive plastics. Plastics can be derived from plant cellulose. And since hemp is the greatest cellulose producer on Earth, with hemp herds reaching 85% cellulose, it only makes sense to make non-toxic, biodegradable plastic from hemp and other organics instead of letting our dumps fill with waste. Hemp herds can also be processed into cellophane packaging material, which was common until the 1930s. Or they can be manufactured into low-cost, compostable replacement for styrofoam. Hemp plastic is biodegradable and recyclable. If you thought being eco-friendly undermined its sturdiness, you couldn't be more wrong. The stiffness level of hemp plastic does match up to regular plastic hemp. Plastic hemp offers good thermal UV and dimensional stability. One of the most outstanding features a few varieties of hemp plastics is that they are flame resistant. Hemp fiber is one of the strongest natural fibers known to us. Hemp can hold almost twice the weight of steel before cracks and breaks. Hemp can bend and mend almost six times better than steel. If Henry Ford imagined creating a car with this material, it doesn't seem too far-fetched of an idea, especially just looking at the advantages. Henry Ford made a car builds almost entirely from hemp. It can run on clean burning hemp fuel, the can being 30% lighter than steel cars, therefore required less fuel. Its lightweight bioplastic body panels were made many times stronger than steel, and it could not be dented with the sledgehammer. Henry Ford once said, why would we use up the forests 
which were centuries in the making, and the mines, which required ages to lay down, if we can get the equivalence of forests and mineral products in the annual growth of hemp fields. For nearly 3,000 years, hemp has been our largest agricultural crop and the most important industry, producing the fiber, paper, clothing, lighting, fuel and medicine used by much of humanity. It is and has always been Earth's most sustainable natural resource. With modern technological advances, it is now possible to make over 20,000 types of products from medicine to houses to cellophane, dynamite and most importantly, an eco-friendly alternative to traditional plastics. Milagro Hemp Plastic is the most suitable substitute for environmental unfriendly conventional plastic. It will degrade in nature by action of microorganism, for example, bacteria, fungi. It can also be safely consumed by snails, insects, and other land and aquatic animals. Milagro Hemp Plastic dissolves instantly in hot water, softens in cold water, and leaves only a small amount of ash when burnt, contrary to conventional plastic, which leaves molten residue behind. Let's change the world tomorrow, today, by joining the Milagro Hemp Plastic Team.